With a bit of pinching and the use of scissors, hot maltose is transformed into various animal shapes in an instant. Participants of a blown sugar technique workshop are captivated as Master Toe showcases his skills. After observing, they get the opportunity to try the sugar artistry themselves. Master Toe begins by taking a droplet-like maltose and shaping it into a ball, rolling it and swiftly pulling out a thin straw. Then, he invites participants to blow air into the ball, causing it to expand. Apart from blowing sugar, they learn skills in pinching and cutting to achieve the desired shape, as Master Toe demonstrates how to sculpt the maltose into different figures. The blown sugar technique, included in Hong Kong's intangible cultural heritage list, has a history that dates back over 600 years. The participants are all from disadvantaged groups in the grassroots community, and this experience marks their first hands-on encounter with intangible cultural heritage. Their daily lives seem to be filled with unhappiness, encountering numerous unpleasant experiences or hardships, and their current living conditions may not be very favorable too. I believe that the workshop will bring them joy. It is a unique experience for them that can deepen their understanding of concepts such as intangible cultural heritage. Even if what they created was not perfect, given it was their first attempt, I found that they were thrilled when showing me their final products. I come from a similar background where I faced disadvantages. When I was young, my family relocated to Hong Kong. Initially settling in the city, we resided in subdivided housing due to financial constraints. I find great satisfaction in being able to engage in the workshop and offer assistance to the participants, which brings me happiness. It also evokes memories of their youth and sparks conversations about unique experiences. For some, witnessing the process of blowing sugar is a novel encounter. The Blown Sugar Technique Workshop is just one of many projects funded under the Intangible Cultural Heritage Funding Scheme. The scheme is managed by the Intangible Cultural Heritage Office of the Leisure and Cultural Services Department. The main goal of the scheme is to raise the public's awareness of Hong Kong's intangible cultural heritage in addition to supporting the transmission of such traditions. By the end of 2023, a total of 124 projects have been funded under the scheme. Such projects include research and publications, public programs and education or promotion activities, transmission and training courses, festivals and sacrificial rituals. There were some programs in the past that uh, can benefit different groups of people in the society. For example, um, we had uh, some guided tours and group visits to our ICH center for the uh, physically disabled people. And we, we hope to promote the integration of the uh, different groups of people and to know more about ICH items. And we also uh, promote Nanyin to uh, visually impaired students and also we held some workshops to the minority groups people to uh, teach them the culture of spring growth and also the Cantonese dialect.